Guys, so in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make an EDM kick, like the real big room uh, kind of kick, the punchy and the bass you want in your kicks that you probably well, won't get. I will show you in this tutorial. It's really easy and really quick. You just need to have two elements, a short kick and a distortion. So uh, to make it like kind of show tech kicks or to make it kind of... Um, uh, you know those big room DJs that having they're having a lot uh, big tracks. So, well, once you have your short kick, it's really up to you. But just a short kick, no bass on it. Then you go to your Benjen sound pack. It's I'm uh, sorry. Okay, go to Benjen's. Then go to Benjen's Essential Club Sounds Volume One. Then there you go to bass drums, you go to distortions, and there's like 75 different distortion, bass distortions. So you will probably want to uh, uh, choose your best distortion. In my case, I found this one as a good distortion. And yes, you drag that to your main project. So enough of this. That's the two elements you need. So you. Uh, if you're running FL Studio or any other platform, is just the same. You drag your project. So, okay, now you have your your distortion, and you don't want any of these spaces to be between the kicks because it will really sound short. Like like if you sample your your distortion, so you will try. You will need to guess the BPM of the kick. There, you don't have to have any spaces between kicks. So if you can see in the lower section, this one on 125 that I changed the BPM, it's okay. My BPM before it was on 128, now it's on 155. So now you want this to look the same way, but in 128. So you go Command F, Polyphonic, okay, and then you go back to 128. What what we did in here is we changed the BPM of the, of the distortion to 155 to 128. So the distortion, it's on time. Okay, then you will want to add, uh, you will want to add a really, really short side chain, like 20%. 10% I, I think it's 20% it's it's real good and what you will probably want to do is the short kick just grab the click part okay and make a loop of it one two three four then you well what we did in here is that we have just the click a part of the short kick. You can make it longer if you want, but I think the click it's okay. With the click with the click part it's okay. So you have your loop and your side chain distorted distortion. As I'm telling you, 20% I think it's just good. And when you have all these two elements the way you want, you just go to bounce, bounce in place, normalize, hit off, and okay. You can get rid of this, and here you have your kick. Okay, you, you can see the, the punchy part in here, and then the, the bass. Okay, this one. Didn't fit that much. Uh, okay, I probably did something wrong. Okay, okay, little click in here. Oh, I see. There you go. You merge them together. Bounce, bounce in place. Okay, and now you have your. So you see it's really punchy and really uh, distorted kick 
And if you go to um, your metering, yeah, your metering tuner, you can see in what key is the is the uh, is the bass distortion. So this is on G. So you probably want your track to be in G and your kick on G. That's the way you do it, and you just put your elements together uh, on top of the kick. I don't know a bass. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, like perk sound or a solid. That's basically how you do it, guys. I hope you this uh, help. This tutorial helps you. And um, yeah, that's basically it.